Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's go a bit deeper into how the transformers architecture work. I will be focusing specifically on the encoder and decoder components. So earlier, if you could recall, I introduced you to the concept of attention mechanism, which is the heart of this architecture because it helps the model understand the input the context of any input sentence by focusing on the specific parts, by understanding which parts are more relevant, right? So today I will talk about the these two components of transform architecture, which is encoder and decoder. I will demonstrate its working using a very simple example of sentence translation from English to Hindi. So here you are. So transformer consists of two major components, encoder and decoder. Encoder reads the whole input and figures out which parts are important using the attention mechanism, while decoder generates the output. Let's take a very simple English sentence. The sky is blue. When this sentence is input into the model, the encoder processes this input sentence where it can look at all the words in the sentence at the same time and figure out which, how do these words relate to each other using the attention mechanism. For example, it realizes that sky and blue are connected and is links them grammatically. This output acts as one of the input to the decoder. Now, once the encoder has built this meaningful representation, decoder comes into the picture. The first thing that happens is that spatial tokens are added to mark the beginning and end of the sentence. SOS, EOS, start of sentence, end of sentence. These are like the traffic signals to the model, which instructs to, when to start generating the output and when to stop generating the output. The decoder starts by receiving the SOS token as one of the input an encoder output as another new input. A point to be noted is decoder generates the output one at a time, like this. This output is then fed back to the decoder as another set of input along with the previous inputs, like this. Now it generates the additional token like this, and again, this is fed back to the decoder as a, to generate the next set of output like this. So you can see at each step of the way, the decoder generates one word at a time in Hindi until the EOS token is predicted, marking the end of the sentence. So the final Hindi translation generated by the decoder would look like this. Akash Neela hai EOS. These Tokens are actually very crucial because they tell the transformer model when to start generating and when to stop. Without them, the model would not know how short or long the sentence should be. So here you are. In summary, the transformer's encoder analyzes the input sentence and passes a detailed understanding to the decoder which generates the output one at a time using special tokens like SOS and EOS to guide the process. This whole architecture enables the model understand the language beyond literal translation and enable it to have more natural and context aware communication. So hope you like this video and learn something new. Do like and subscribe to my channel for more such knowledge and updates. Thank you.